G'day everybody, welcome back to our Valheim series. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, it's technically New Year's Day for me uh, as I record this. So <laughs> this is coming to you from the past. Happy New Year. Uh, hope you guys had a, a good celebration. Uh, I sort of just had a bit of a quiet one, to be honest. So uh, nothing too special on my front. Here's hoping that 2024 will be a good year. Uh, in the previous episode, we spent quite a bit of time setting up our brand new, uh, I guess, chook, uh, enclosure. <laughs> I don't know what the right word is. Uh, oh my god, alright. Look at that, guys. Look at that. We've got couple of lovely little chickens which oh, we can't pet them but uh, oh, I am so excited right now so I assume these guys will then continually give us some eggs and maybe if I slaughter them they might give us some meat perhaps or maybe feathers but uh, anyway I'm, I'm really happy about this because um, I sort of just went by uh, a few comments and also just the description saying that you need to have to keep it warm. Uh, some people mentioned something about using pigs to keep them warm, so I'm not entirely sure how that works, but um, yeah, we used the fire pit and managed to get them to hatch, which is really, really nice. So I'm really happy about that, actually. Um, all right, so. As we were in the previous episode, we were sort of continuing the work on this. Oh, look at that. I'll, I'll, I'll take you if you don't want to live anymore. That's fine. Um, yes, so we'll continue the construction here. It is still looking a bit shoddy, if you ask me. Uh, so hopefully we can get this to where it needs to be. Um, hmm. I'm just thinking whether or not this is the right, the right thing, the right uh, move or not, or whether or not we want this whole outer section to be pushed further inside. It looks a little bit weird, to be honest. Um, yeah. Yeah, bear with me, guys. I'm, I'm gonna redo this entire section. I guess this is the benefit of me sort of like, uh, I don't record every day, so I record, you know, maybe every couple of days or so, and uh, it gives me enough time to sort of think about uh, stuff that I've done previously. Uh, mind you, sometimes, sometimes I don't even have time uh, to think about um, what happened in the previous episode, but... Sometimes I do, and times like those sort of come up with other ideas about how to manage the build. So, problem I have is the snapping point. I'm going to have to maybe do something like that, just so that it moves out a little bit. Um, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, a lot of this is pretty much going to be experimentation, guys, um, so bear with me. Alright, so that looks a little bit better, but now I'm sort of thinking, well, if we've got a core wood beam like that, do we even need these pieces? So let me just test something out, uh, and I just want to see if, um, if we use, oh, maybe we should eat a little bit. 
I'm sort of thinking if we use some of these pieces, um, will that work? It almost feels like there's a bit of a gap there, which is not the intent. Yeah, I think that's what I want. It does stick out a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, and that does sit on the, um, on the beam quite well. So, uh, I guess maybe we don't really need all of these pieces, to be honest. Uh, we can go and just put another beam there, and that should do it. Trouble is, I, I definitely want to keep uh, what we've got going on here, because I think the beam is not high enough to touch the um, the roof. So we need to set something up that looks similar to this, where we've got both the core wood beams and the normal wood beams on top. So why don't we go with that first. Like so. Hopefully this holds, if I take this away. <laughs> I think it does, which is good. Um, Alright, so... With that in place, now we should be able to just do... That there. Okay, cool. That should keep everything holding together. A smaller piece here, like so. I think it might be better if we that. I think maybe the same thing needs to happen here. Yeah, that's better. Much better. Alright. That could have gone really badly, actually, <laughs> come to think of it. Um, Alright, so... Pretty satisfied so far. Um... Just quickly get rid of these pieces here. They're not needed anymore. Ah, okay. Our hammer is gone. 
So I'm not entirely sure if those chickens will just stay that size or if they will grow. I assume they might grow. And I assume it'll take a while until we actually get more eggs from them. Oh yes, and we did a, lo uh, a load of, um, like, Christmas decorations in the previous episode as well, so that's been pretty cool. Uh, giving us a few more, uh, notches of comfort, which is nice. We'll put that there, and let's continue going here. Righto. And now I'm just going to sort of wall things off from here. I mean, maybe I don't need to wall the entire thing off. Um, anyway. Cross that bridge when we get there. So bright. Maybe from the other side. Looks decent. Um, just want to get rid of that piece there. It's not needed anymore. Yeah, I think we'll get one of these pieces in. Provided I can actually climb up here. Yeah. Good times. Alright. That looks pretty good. Uh, I'll get rid of this piece and... I don't think I need any of these anymore. We only just use that as a bit of a guide. Yeah, so that's looking quite nice. Now, with the uh, chickens, since they're hatched now, I wonder if that means that I could move the, um, the iron pit. Or do they need constant warmth? I'm not 100% certain on that. Um, I assume it's okay for us to remove it, but I could be completely wrong. So anyone uh, who knows, let me know. But uh, I assume it's okay. Uh, actually, I will maybe leave this in there. I'll take that down. And then we should be able to get this piece in. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a challenge with not being able to see properly with the tree in the way.
And it's dark, so perhaps maybe having a sleep might be uh, a better thing to do. Alright, so I'll put a away a few things, then we'll have a sleep. Uh, this fire pit, obviously, I just want to store somewhere. This jute, we had trouble finding the jute uh, the other day. I think maybe we're, we should just keep it here with like sort of the plant stuff, the fibery stuff. Arguably, maybe the um, the threads, the linens, should actually be in there as well. Right, how are we doing for food? Still looking okay, uh, since we are mainly building. As I said before, I think if we do get attacked, I'll just run to the pantry and grab something to eat. Uh, ooh, maybe these guys need to be fed, actually. That's something that I hadn't considered. Uh, and maybe they won't produce eggs unless they're fed. So I'm going to bring some barley. I'll chuck some barley in there uh, and see if they would eat barley. Um... If not, maybe... I don't know, what do chickens eat? Like, I always think that they eat, like, seeds and stuff. Um... Would they eat flax? Is, is flax edible for, for chickens? I have no idea. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave these gaps, guys. Uh, that kind of looks nice, and plus, you know, my... My, uh, image of a chicken coop is that it'll probably get stinky really quickly. So we probably want to aerate this place out pretty well. Okay, let's do it from this side. If we can actually just jump. Yeah, okay, good. Right, so let's get these pieces in. Yeah, all right, very nice. And yeah, might as well get this piece in now. That'll give us a guide for what to do on this side. Brilliant, okay, cool. Uh, and let's go in with beams. I wonder if that's right. Get rid of that for a second.
All right. Have we achieved it? Yeah, I think so. I think that looks good. Get rid of that piece. Brilliant. All right. Um, how do we know if the chooks are eating the the thing or not? I guess maybe they might not be eating it. Uh, perhaps maybe I want to try feeding them some flax uh, and see how that goes. Otherwise, do we have any other types of things that we could feed them? I don't suppose onions, turnips or carrots would be suitable. Um, I have no idea if they would eat berries or stuff like that. Or like tree seeds. Again, not sure. Um, the thing that probably makes sense in my mind is maybe flax. Uh, so we'll try and grow some flax. I do want to try and get an actual chicken coop, uh, set up. I'm not entirely sure, uh, how that's going to look exactly. But maybe we can make a small start on that. I've forgotten what those, uh what those chicken coops looked like, the ones that we could see uh, set up in um, in various villages that we've seen. Move the barley, maybe chuck it there. Come on guys, I'm trying to build you uh, a home. Come on little buddy. Oh god. Yeah, I can't remember, um, exactly what they used for, like, stairs for the, for the chooks. I think maybe they used something like this, actually. 
I mean, it's not like we're going to get these little guys to actually go into the chook. Uh, sorry, into the um the coops uh, themselves, but you know, it's just an aesthetic thing. Oh, okay, Th they can actually go in there. <laughs> I, I didn't realize that that was possible. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I need to think about it a little bit more. Uh, but for now, I think I'm gonna head back to the plains, guys, and see if we can deal with the uh, the crops there. Uh, and I want to try and get some flax back in. Ah, uh, oh, I've forgotten my um, my cultivator. We got plenty of flax here. So I could just literally try feeding the chooks some flax. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, they they are eating the barley. I think so. Um, so, I'm going to keep an eye out on this, but we've got 34 barley. Uh, and then... Why don't we also just drop a little bit of flax here? We've got 32 flax. I don't know if they just, like, they happen to do that animation in front of the, the thing, and that's why. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. 32 flax and 34 barley. We'll keep an eye out on that. Um... Otherwise, I can experiment with, like, berries and stuff. Maybe they might eat berries? I don't know if eating berries is, like... You know... A good thing for... For birds. You know how certain types of foods can be... Detrimental for certain animals. Well, since we've got, um, you know, plenty of flax in the, uh, in the enclosure, what I might do is actually continue growing more barley. Also, not entirely sure if our locks friend there is doing anything with those turnips. So, that's perhaps something that I can investigate a little bit further on. Uh, let, let's do that later though. Let's get the, uh, the barley back in.
that was a little messy there. Yeah, while we're doing this, guys, I was, uh, I forgot to mention. So the reason why I didn't really do anything, uh, for New Year's, well, I guess I'm at an age where I don't really go out and party too much anymore. <laughs> uh, but, uh, I've also, um, had a bit of a boo-boo in the, um, in the kitchen recently. And, uh, my... My dumbass managed to burn my right hand quite well. It's not really severe, but it is very, very painful. And uh, I've got blisters covering, let's say, a quarter of my hand. Um, luckily, I can still hold a mouse. <laughs> and play because uh, otherwise I wouldn't be recording this but yeah when I uh, first had the burns happen I was like oh what should I do with YouTube obviously recovery would have been my priority so um, I was thinking of putting up a post to say to people that uh, you know I wasn't gonna make videos for a while but, uh, I didn't need to, because after the pain subsided, which was maybe about half a day or so, uh, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Not looking forward to when the blisters and stuff burst, though, so, um, yeah. Good times. Good times. Ah, uh, anyway, that's what you get for being, you know impatient and not paying attention uh, in the kitchen. So, um, again, let's check back. See what's going on here. Ah, oh, I've picked up. Ah, oh, I didn't, I didn't see how many we got there. Still got 32 flax. Um, let's do... 20 of each, and we'll just visit every now and then to see how things are going. I am guessing they're not eating it, so maybe this is not the thing. Uh, in which case, I'm going to have to try and find some other veggie that would, uh, would suit them well. I mean... Who knows if it's veggie or something else. Um, Alright, so just coming back to what we've done here, uh, I'm just thinking whether or not we need to do any more with the enclosure, but I don't think so. Um, we'll use this side of the enclosure for obviously some kind of storage, maybe even a workbench that sits underneath the, the roof there if we need to. Uh, but we'll come back to that idea later. Because uh, I don't really have anything in mind right now. Uh, my next priority is going to be getting some kind of a, um, a balcony. Because I want that hot tub, man. <laughs> <laughs> we've, uh, we've had that hot tub for a while. So a couple of things we'll be doing. We'll be doing that and we'll be doing um, some upgrades to all of our gear. To prepare for our battle against Yagluth. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff here which I probably don't really want to be carrying around all the time. I just want to be careful about using too much flax though. Because we need some of the flax to actually grow. So, yeah, in hindsight, I'm gonna just go back here and leave some flax at the plains home. Oh, and I did say that I wanted to check in on our friend sitting over there on top of the hill. 
So I'm just going to quickly go out there and check on them, see what the deal is. Preferably before it gets too dark. Still wild and hungry. So... Not sure what's going on there. I wonder if our turnips are still around. Because we did drop the turnips not too far away. Um, yeah, Let, let's go back. I'm just going to, uh, have a sleep and then come back and see if we can find those turnips. Uh, and then I'm gonna test out, like, different berries and stuff for our chickens to see if they would eat any of those. Probably need to resupply as well with food. We don't actually have anything on us. That's still grinding away. Um, just going to quickly check on this. Windmill is looking good. Of course, of course I picked all of that up. I guess it's getting a little bit full, isn't it? I want to just throw that in the corner. In the corner, I said. There we go. Grab a few more sausages and ice creams. That looks good. I don't know why we've got some resins in here. We'll grab that. Uh, and more flour. And just chuck that there. More barley for grinding. Um, Alright, since we've got still the effects of the skewer... I'm just going to go back out and see if we can recover our turnips there. If they don't eat turnips, I'm not entirely sure what they're eating. Um, maybe... Uh, look, I got the idea of giving them turnips because... Uh, well, we had... Uh, heel deer uh, feeding turnips to her loxes. Uh, and that's what gave me the idea. But... Perhaps, maybe, they need to be tamed using other types of foods first. Uh... I don't see a turnips anywhere, guys. Okay, and we've obviously aggroed our lox friend here. That's just... Try and get away, break that aggro. Okay, it's not interested anymore. It's good. Um, I wonder if you just need lots and lots of turnips because I don't see the turnips up there anywhere um, if he's not returning I'm just gonna take a quick look at the area 
Because I thought I left them here. Perhaps... Perhaps it's eaten all of it already. Because I'm quite certain that I just left it in the previous episode, unless it's despawned already. Which I highly doubt, because it does take, you know, a while for stuff to despawn. Right, well, with that in mind... I'm gonna grab another batch of turnips. Um, are we going to be okay with giving away this many turnips? I think we are. We've got still another 50 turnips and got more growing. So it's not really too much of a problem. I guess the thing is we need to hang around here, right? For the the taming to take effect. Okay, decided to move away and face towards us, not ideal. I'll come around this way and we'll drop some more of a nice food delivery for our friend here. Hopefully that does the trick. Right. So. Balcony. Sorry, I'm definitely pers uh, procrastinating a little bit. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, of course. We ended up picking this up, didn't we? Uh, I want to bring all of that, though. Ooh, and we've got resin sitting in here as well. Convenient. Okay, well, how are we going to get this done? I don't want it to be too big, but obviously it needs to be big enough to have the, uh, the bathtub in it. So, maybe the best thing is to, god damn it, all this linen. Maybe the best thing to do is to start sort of planning out where we're going to walk into this balcony from. Uh, and that way we can sort of work our way from there. Alright, so I'm thinking... Ah, yeah, of course. We need the stone cutting table. Um, got the stone cutting table in here. I'm not sure if we should take that down and bring it with us, or maybe I can just 
grab a couple more pieces of iron here. And I think we might need uh, some extra stone or something like that. Where is it? Um. Ah, there. Yeah. Yeah, just a tiny little bit of stone, actually. Great. Alright, let's just build another one. So that'll go there, temporarily. And yeah, so it will make, will make it come out here. Oh, this is definitely a problem, isn't it? I don't know, seems very, <laughs> um, very, like, close to our head, like the top of our head. Um, I feel like we need to widen it a little bit. Or is it necessary? Hmm, maybe not. Is this all going to hold, though? That That's the big question I have. I'm a little bit concerned. Oh, yes, of course. We do need some stone. Bloody hell. Let's do this. I think it'll hold. Right. Um... So, I think my plan is going to be to have, like, a half circle thing going on. Um... Yeah, so... Right. Oh, 
obviously going to need to try and support this as best as we can, temporarily. We can actually hear them, like, um, like cooing and stuff. Oh yes, they've grown to be much bigger. Oh, and I think they are, um, I think they're definitely eating, right? I mean, we've got some more eggs, which is nice. <laughs> I definitely need the fire pits back out here. Um, let me just check back on the food once more. 16 barley, 20 flax. Okay. So they're definitely eating the barley, but not the flax. So there we go. Nice, 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 nice. Right. Um, I guess I could just drop this flax back into here. Get it processing. You know what? That's all right. Let's let's get rid of all of this. It's getting in the way. Good. All right. Now to continue. We might need, just temporarily, like these wooden iron poles. So... Let's fetch... Some. Uh, I think it's two each, right? So maybe something like that. And then we're gonna need some wood as well. Just a little bit. And we're also going to need to sort of cover this up a little bit. And I'm thinking for what we're doing out here, uh, we may actually go without the wooden floorboards. Um, so the wooden floorboards is just for inside um, the second floor, obviously, but then we'll go back with just stone on the outside since, you know, there'll be rain and stuff like that out here. We are going to try and enclose this to the best of our ability. I'm just having another think here though, guys, whether or not this is the right thing that we want to do, or if I want to lower this a little bit, I think maybe we might want to lower it. Yeah. I think so. Because this seems like it's positioned a little bit too high. I think if we lower it slightly, we'll still get the entire effect of having the, you know, the bathtub nearby. Hmm. We'll still go in from here. It's just that, um we'll probably have the, um, 
we'll have it sort of like lower down like so. Maybe. And getting the, the thing to sort of curve around might be a little bit difficult though. It's getting dark. Sorry guys, I'm I'm having more of a think here. And uh, I guess one of the reasons why I'm thinking that we need to lower it is also because um, I need to be able to get the roof to cover it as well. And obviously I don't want the roof to come down too close to the floor because that won't really look very nice, will it? So let's try this. Um, we might need to play around with the terrain a little bit as well. Okay, maybe a decent start. Let's go and have a sleep. Yeah, I might need to rearrange where the table goes and all that sort of stuff as well. Or we could keep it here. Um, might take that and set it up down here instead. Okay, good enough. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know how many chickens we need, guys. So many eggs. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna collect all of the eggs because um, they'll just keep producing eggs, right? I assume if we um, if we just keep feeding them. Yeah, they've ran out of barley. These guys are barley eating machines. Um, okay, so I got quite a few eggs, which is nice. Uh, and then now we should be able to make some fried egg, right? Um, let's just maybe put the eggs in here. Right.
How are we looking here? How are we looking? Uh, no. This is probably not good. We maybe want this to go straight just a tiny little bit more. Maybe a one by one block like that. And I think from there we can then curve it back in. I'm hoping that's right, but let me just see where this comes to. Or maybe we can do a 2x2, two two, actually. And then from here we sort of do another curve. Um, yeah. And then the roof will come down and sort of drape this place. Uh, and yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get that bathtub going. Mm. Obviously trying to see if we can make this symmetrical. I want something like that. Why? Why isn't that holding? Huh. So hopefully we can then get this curving around, but uh, I think we're probably going to call it an episode here, guys. I kind of need a break, plus my hand hurts a little bit, <laughs> so um, I'm going to put some ointment on, uh, take a break, and then uh, come back and record some more later. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Uh, I'm really happy that we figured things out with the chooks and that they're actually producing some eggs for us. We'll uh, obviously feed them some more so we can get some more eggs. And I might then put some, uh, well, put another fire pit back down, see if we can get some more uh, chickens that way. And I might slaughter one and see what happens. Maybe you only get like feathers or something like that and no meat, but uh, who knows? Uh, perhaps there could be some other ingredients that we're not seeing just yet, but Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, definitely leave a like down below. Otherwise, stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one.